The Gripen's lineage is rooted in a history of creating highly effective, cost-conscious combat aircraft like the self-reliant strategic doctrine of credible neutrality, Drake and Vegan. These were planes designed to defend a nation with a long, complex coastline and a need to disperse its forces to survive a first strike. The Gripen E is the ultimate evolution of this philosophy. In modern air combat, the fight often begins long before visual range. It's a duel fought with radio waves, data links, and sophisticated jamming. The winner isn't always the fastest or most agile jet, but rather the one that controls the electromagnetic spectrum. This is the domain of electronic warfare, or EW, and it's here that the Gripen E truly punches above its weight. While stealth aircraft like the F-35 try to hide from radar, the Gripen E is designed to actively fight in the spectrum. It assumes it'll be detected and focuses on blinding, confusing, and outsmarting its opponents. At the heart of this capability is the Gripen E's advanced internal EW suite, known as MFSEW, or Multifunctional System Electronic Warfare. This isn't just a collection of radar warning receivers and jammers. It's a fully integrated digital system that uses a network of sophisticated sensors, AESA, or Active Electronically Scanned Array, gallium nitride transmitters. This allows the Gripen E to not only detect incoming radar signals with extreme precision, but to actively jam them with surgical accuracy. It can create phantom targets, disrupt enemy communications, and act as a powerful radar itself. The Gripen E's real weapon isn't missiles, it's artificial intelligence. Its AESA radar scans 300 kilometers while jamming enemy systems. But here's the kicker. Network-centric warfare. In NATO exercises, Gripen's shared real-time intel with warships and drones creating a hive mind that confused F-35S. Stealth can't hide you when a swarm of cheap sensors paints your location, a technique known as soft-kill electronic attack. This AESA jammer technology is a significant force multiplier. Traditional jammers often broadcast powerful noisy signals in all directions to overwhelm an enemy radar. The grip and ease system, though, is far more subtle and intelligent. It can precisely direct narrow beams of jamming energy at multiple threats simultaneously, all while minimizing its own electronic signature. This allows it to disrupt an enemy's kill chain. The process of detecting, tracking, firing upon a target, without giving away its exact position. It's the digital equivalent of a magician's misdirection, performed at the speed of light. In the Arctic Challenge exercise, Gripens use terrain masking to ambush F-16S at treetop level. Their EW suite tricked radars into seeing ghost jets, while the real Gripen slipped behind its prey. Even the Rafale with its $100M got killed in mock battles. How? Agility. The Gripen's Delta Canard design lets it turn tighter than any 5 to gen jet. Sometimes low-tech moves beat high-tech toys. A fighter jet's performance is not only measured in the sky but also on the ground. An aircraft that requires pristine 10,000-foot runways and a massive logistical footprint is a liability in a real-world conflict where air bases are the first targets. This is where the Gripen E's Swedish heritage shines. During the Cold War, Sweden's defense strategy centered on dispersal. The plan, operate not from large main bases but from scattered, hidden road bases and austere airstrips. The Gripen was built for this. The Gripen E can take off and land on runways as short as 800 meters. Its airframe and landing gear are ruggedized for rough public roads reinforced for military use. This is almost unique among modern fighters. F-35 Eurofighter. Both are tied to big, well-equipped bases. A squadron of Gripens can scatter to the four winds, becoming an elusive, unpredictable target. They can be refueled, rearmed, and turned around in minutes by small conscript teams with simple tools. This rapid turnaround is a core design feature. A single-engine, multi-role fighter built for the 21st century battle space, the E in Gripen E signifies a massive leap forward from its earlier A, B, C, D versions. While it may look similar to its predecessors, it is, for all intents and purposes, a new aircraft. It features a more powerful General Electric F-14 engine, the same family of engine that powers the F-A-18 Super Hornet, giving it significantly more thrust and performance. 
It has a completely new airframe with increased fuel capacity for greater range and endurance, but the real revolution is under the skin. The Gripen E was designed with a fundamentally different avionics architecture. The fundamental difference between the Gripen E and its pricier rivals lies in its design philosophy. The F-22 Raptor was conceived with one goal in mind, absolute air dominance. It was built to be an untouchable air-to-air -air killer, combining extreme stealth speed, super cruise, and maneuverability. The F-35 was designed to be a stealthy, sensor-fused quarterback in the sky, a penetrating strike aircraft that could survive in the most heavily defended airspace. These are specialized, exquisite platforms designed to solve a very specific high-end problem for a global superpower. The Gripen E, on the other hand, was born from a different set of requirements. It was designed for a country that could not afford a silver bullet solution. Sweden needed a jack-of-all-trades, a true multi-role fighter that could perform air defense, strike, and reconnaissance missions with equal proficiency. It needed an aircraft that was not just effective in the air, but affordable to buy cheap to fly and easy to maintain. This led Saab to prioritize efficiency in every aspect of the design. The single-engine configuration, for example, immediately fuel consumption and maintenance costs compared to twin-engine designs like the Eurofighter Typhoon and the F-A-18 Super Hornet. This focus on pragmatism extends to its approach to stealth. The Gripen E is not a very low observable aircraft like the F-35 or the F-22. Instead, the Gripen E employs a more balanced approach. When it comes to the stark reality of defense procurement, numbers matter. And the numbers for the Gripen E tell a compelling story. The flyaway cost of a single Gripen E is estimated to be around $85 million. While this is not cheap by any standard, it stands in sharp contrast to its main competitors. The F-35A, the most common variant, has a unit cost that hovers around $110 million. The Eurofighter Typhoon often exceeds the $100 million mark depending on configuration. The Dassault Rafale similarly often exceeds the $100 million mark. But the purchase price is only the tip of the iceberg. The real killer for any modern fighter program is the cost per flight hour. This figure encompasses fuel, spare parts, maintenance personnel, depot-level repairs, and all the other expenses required to keep a jet in the air. Here, the Gripen E's advantage becomes even more pronounced. Estimates for the Gripen E's cost per flight hour are projected to be under $10,000. Some reports have even placed the older Gripen C and D's costs as low as $4,700 per hour. Compare that to the F-35, which the Pentagon is still struggling to get below $36,000 per hour. The Eurofighter Typhoon can cost upwards of $18,000 per hour to operate. This massive disparity in operating costs has huge strategic implications. For the same amount of money, an Air Force can fly a Gripen E nearly four times as often as an F-35. This means more training for pilots leading to higher proficiency and readiness. It means a greater ability to generate sorties in a conflict, putting more aircraft in the air when they are needed most. It also means the fleet can be sustained over a long campaign without breaking the national treasury. Saab engineers optimize the jet for austere maintenance. Key access panels are easy to reach without special ladders. The engine can be changed in the field in under an hour. A built-in auxiliary power unit lets the jet start without an external power cart. That means one Gripen can generate more sorties per day than more complex rivals. In a high-tempo conflict, quick turnarounds are life or death. This resilience makes the Gripen far more survivable in the opening hours of a conflict. In the world of military aviation, it buys you a single fighter jet. Sometimes it buys you even less than that. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II can cost north of $100 million per copy. The F-22 Raptor, a ghost from a bygone era of bottomless budgets, costs taxpayers a staggering amount. These jets are the apex predators of the sky, Stealth coatings, advanced sensors, enough computing power to run a small city, they represent the cutting edge of aerospace engineering. But this raises a critical question. Is the most expensive tool always the right tool for the job? Tightening defense budgets, 
rapidly evolving threats, pouring billions into small fleets of ultra-expensive jets is under scrutiny. You might have the best fighter, but only a handful. What happens if one is lost in combat or a training accident? The cost of attrition becomes astronomically high. This is the hundred million dollar question planners are grappling with. Economics, strategy, technological reality. The problem goes far beyond purchase price. These jets come with a long, expensive logistical tail. The F-35 needs a global interconnected network, ODIN, to manage parts, diagnostics, and mission planning. Those dependencies can dwarf the sticker price over its lifetime. Complexity is a double-edged sword. It provides incredible capability, but it also creates incredible vulnerability. That dilemma opens the door for a different kind of fighter. The Saab Gripen E is more than just a clever piece of engineering. It represents a different way of thinking about air power in the 21st century. It is a direct challenge to the bigger, faster, more expensive paradigm that has dominated fighter development for decades. The grip and ease success demonstrates that there is a vast and underserved market for a fighter that balances cutting-edge capability with economic reality. It proves that attributes like operational availability, ease of maintenance, adaptability are not secondary considerations but are, in fact, critical components of combat effectiveness. What can other, more expensive jets learn from the Gripen? The most important lesson is the value of a modular, open architecture design. The separation of flight-critical systems from mission systems is a revolutionary concept. That separation future-proofs the aircraft. It allows for rapid, affordable upgrades, enabling the platform to evolve with technology rather than being locked into the hardware of its era. As software, processing power, sensor technology continue to advance, this architectural flexibility will become the single most important factor in maintaining a fighter's relevance over its 30 or 40 year lifespan. Another key lesson is the power of a balanced design. The grip and E does not attempt to be the absolute best in any single category, not the stealthiest, not the fastest, not the longest range fighter. Instead, it offers a superb blend of all the necessary attributes optimized for efficiency. Survivability is handled by a reduced radar signature, a world-class electronic warfare suite, extreme networking capabilities, a pragmatic and highly effective alternative to all-or-nothing VLO stealth. It shows there are multiple paths to air superiority, not all needing a billion-dollar price tag. The grip and E leaves many billion-dollar rivals in the dust, not in a single dogfight but in the grand strategic competition of national defense. It wins in the budget office on the maintenance line in the calculus of sustainable long-term air power. It provides a credible, sovereign, adaptable capability within reach for a wide range of nations. As air forces around the world face the daunting task of recapitalizing their fleets, the smart fighter philosophy pioneered by the Gripen E offers a compelling, intelligent path forward. It is a lesson in pragmatic power, and one that the rest of the world is finally beginning to learn. The Grip and E proved that in 21 Saint century warfare, smart expensive. It's a wake-up call. Innovation beats cash every time. What's next? Hypersonic drones? Quantum radar? Let me know below. Smash like if you back the underdog. Subscribe for more defense deep dives and hit the bell, because the future of air combat is here.